Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games. Recently I showcased a level called Super Mario vs. Mecha Bowzilla. It's a really awesome level, a lot of you guys enjoyed this one. It's been featured on a lot of YouTube channels. I thought it'd be really cool today to show you how to make two versions of the Mecha Bowzilla. The one with the giant stiletto feet, and also the one that goes around on jet engines. The first thing we'll need to do is erase one of our ground pieces. We're going to have to use a centering trick to make this all go together correctly. Here's how you do the trick if you don't know. Let's start with our Stiletto Goomba. We'll place him on the spiny. This sets the giant enemy into the middle. Here's where an enemy would normally go, where I place this Goomba here. Once I place him down, you can see how he's not in line with the Goomba above him. I actually have him centered because of that spiny down there. If you take a Lapa Bubble and put it over the spiny, the Goomba will stay in place. That's because you can't stack enemies on a Lava Bubble. So now we have an off-center Goomba shoe. So now he's in the center of the line. We need to do the same thing again a couple squares over. We'll take a Spiny, a giant Goomba, stack them on top. Then we'll take our Lava Bubble, replace the Spiny with the Lava Bubble, and then erase the Lava Bubble. Now we'll have everything off-centered perfectly. Next step is we'll make a giant Cannonball. We'll go ahead and stack these on the Goomba shoes. Once you have those completed, next step is we're gonna draw some ground right here. If you've tried to put this together yourself, this part probably got tricky for you. I figured out how to do it though. We'll drag these cannonballs up above like so. That way when they face, they actually touch. Now erase that ground and they will sit off center like they were before. So now when you make them face, they will touch. If you try to just do this to the grid, none of this will line up correctly. You have to follow this step by step. Even if it seems confusing, if you try it your own way, it probably won't work. Just follow along the video and everything should be perfect. Right here, we're gonna put a couple more spike tops. We're gonna go ahead and put some chain chomps above them. So that way the chain chomps will be centered. Put wings on the chain chomps. Now once again, we'll drag lava bubbles onto the spike tops and we'll erase the lava bubbles. Now we'll have the uh, giant chain chomps in a square they normally couldn't be in. It's perfect. Now we'll take some more cannonballs and we'll stack those on top of the chain chomps. On top of those cannonballs, we'll put down some spike tops. Now we need one giant cannonball in the middle. It'll actually fit perfectly just right there. Go ahead and take a Bowser Jr. Now we'll make a giant spike top for his helmet. We'll go ahead and drag it on him and we'll just select both, drag them over and drop them on that cannonball. We now have them set up and ready to go. So we start it up and we can see our Mecha Bowzilla works perfectly. We just need to make some more ground so he has a place to travel. Here I'll go ahead and make a quick stage real quick. So we enter our door. And here's Mecha Bowzilla chasing us with the giant chain chomp arms, shooting fireballs and cannonballs everywhere. One note is you want to place him exactly where he's going to go in the level. Because we use all the tricks to make everything centered perfectly, if you try to move it, everything will go out of whack really quick. So make sure you put him exactly where you want and you follow the step by step. Otherwise, things will just not line up right and this will not work. We jump on the axe and we take Mecha Bowzilla out. Once again, I can't stress enough. Follow along with the video step by step. Pause if you need to. If you follow all the steps like I did, it should work perfect. Now we'll show you how to make the jet engine version. Where in the original level, he loses his legs. We're going to go ahead and make a room with a door. That way we can put Mario exactly where we want ahead of the Mecha Bowzilla. All right, so now we're gonna place a cannonball down, make it giant, we're gonna do two of them. We're gonna take a couple spike tops and we're gonna drop the cannonballs down onto the spike tops. Once again, we'll use lava bubbles to get rid of the spike tops and then we'll erase the lava bubbles. Now we have the cannonballs in a way they couldn't normally go. We'll make three tracks, all open-ended. We'll drag these one at a time over. Don't do them all at once or you'll lose the cannonballs. Once you have the tracks, we'll take three jet engines and we'll spin them around. We'll put all three on the tracks. 
Next up, we'll need our track for everything to travel along. We'll just run it across the cannonballs just like that across the top. Once the uh, jet engines push the cannonballs up, everything will land onto the track and work perfectly. I actually do this out of order, but we can fix it, but we'll still need this to get things going. But we'll take some uh, giant chain chomps here, place them exactly like I have them, put wings on them, and we'll go ahead and we'll duplicate these. That way we can center the next thing we need to center. So we'll put some little cannonballs here, make them both face inwards towards each other. Now we'll have to use the lava bubble trick again, but this time we need to make giant ones because the ones we are replacing are giant. Once we drag the giant level bubbles over and replace the chain chomps, we'll then erase them. And now those cannonballs are exactly where we want them, off centered. Now we can put some little spike tops on both of those. Now we'll go ahead and remake our chain chomps for down below that we deleted earlier. Make sure you put wings on them. Now we'll put a spike top in the middle of these two chain chomps. This is how we will center our cannonball. Now we'll once again take a lava bubble, drag it over the spike top, and then erase the lava bubble. That'll keep the cannonball right where we want it. Final step, we need Bowser Jr. again, and we need a spike top helmet, so we'll drag a mushroom onto the spike top, put it on top of Bowser Jr., and we should be good to go. We'll go ahead and put our door down here. Let's start it up. We go through the door and we have Mecha Bowzilla in his jet engine version, which is really cool. You can run under him, run in front of him. Here's a little bit more added to this level I threw together where you could have him chasing you like so. You can run under him. Lots of different ways you can dodge him. You could put more obstacles in, whatever you want. But as you notice, everything lined up great. All right, guys. Well, I hope this tutorial helped you out. A lot of you really liked this level. And when I went to make this myself, I realized there was some issues in the centering of things. All you gotta do is make sure you use the lava bubble trick that I showed you in the video. Follow step by step. Make sure you pause the video if you need to. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And until next time, I'll see you around.